beautiful art forms that you can do even better as you get older. Unlike some forms of dance like ballet or jazz where you have to be super flexible, super young, super fit to do them, belly dancing, the older you get, the more experience you have, the more you can put into your dance and the more beautiful and sensual it can be. That's my belief anyway. But there are a couple of moves in belly dancing that are more difficult as we get older. And one of these is our back bends. So you'll often see really young dancers especially throwing themselves back into their back bends, which requires a lot of flexibility through your core, but also a lot of strength through your core and flexibility through your back. One of the reasons why this is harder as you get older is because from the age or up, up to the age of about 26, your coccyx bone fuses. So once you have that fusion, it's really hard for you to be able to lean back. So if you're over 26 like me, shh, don't tell anyone, um, you might find it hard to do your back bends. So today I'm going to teach you a really beautiful way that you can do back bends that won't put as much pressure on your spine and still looks really lovely. Okay, so with our back bends, two things really important in this move. Number one is to keep your core really strong. The other one is to keep the balance through your legs. So if you don't have very good balance through your legs or you have a very weak core, work on that first before you try this move. So starting off, we're in our good posture. So keeping our feet hip width apart, keeping our pelvis tucked in, chest up, nice posture as always. Keeping your hands out of the way, I'll keep them here actually so you can see. First of all, we're bending down into our legs. So you can go as far as you can for the flexibility in my calves. This is about as far as I can go. Doesn't look much like a back bend, back bend yet, but just keep watching. From here, we bring one foot in front. So it doesn't matter which foot, bringing it out in front in line with that knee. So nice and extended, beautiful line. Next part is we turn on the core, keep it really strong. Lean back a little bit. Notice there's still no arch in my spine. I'm keeping my spine really, really straight. And then dropping my head back. From here, you can add your beautiful flutter arms. And you can see it's a lovely back bend. Gives the illusion of coming further back, whereas you're not putting as much pressure on your back. You're not going to strain yourself and you're still going to be able to get into this move. So I hope you found this helpful. If you're someone who loves back bends but finds them difficult as you get older, then hopefully this can help and you can still put it into your belly dancing repertoire. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Leave a comment, let me know how you go. And as always, happy dancing.